Hey everybody, I'm Sarah, Lonesome Glory, and today I'm just going to give you a very quick rundown of what Briarfest week looks like for me and my family. So we're going to leave on Tuesday. We will pack up the van tomorrow, Monday, which hopefully Monday will still be tomorrow by the time I get this video up, but you never know. <laughs> anyway, we're going to leave Tuesday once we get off work, which will hopefully be kind of early afternoon. Uh, we're going to drive somewhere into Indiana, but we'll see how that goes. And then we'll get to Lexington on Wednesday. Wednesday, we'll check into the Clarion, we'll unload the horses, and we'll get things ready to open. My guess is that we will not open on Wednesday. We'll open Thursday sometime in the afternoon. Um, the rest of Thursday is just going to be kind of doing tourist stuff around Lexington. <laughs> And then we'll have the room open. That's the Pineapple Room 128 at the Clarion. It'll open Thursday. It will be open Thursday afternoon and evening, Friday afternoon and evening, and Saturday afternoon and evening. I don't have time specifically on that, although if you're going to be there, there will be a sign on the door if we're not open that tells you what time you can kind of expect us back. So that's fun. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday are obviously Briarfest itself. We will be at the park bright and early on Friday morning. The early part is the only thing I am not looking forward to. I don't do mornings. So if you do see me at the park on Friday morning and I look like a zombie or I growl, I promise I won't actually eat your brains. I just need more caffeine and for it to be like noon. So <laughs> that's, that's just kind of how I work in the mornings. Uh, we're going to do all of the traditional Briarfest stuff those three days. We'll do some shopping. We'll pick up our models one day. Um, I think on Friday we are going to try and do the Ninja Pit of Craziness. So if you see me there, <laughs> just kind of wave because we all know how nutty that is. Um, other than that, we'll, we might not be at the park all day. Um, we tend to kind of do a few hours, do something else, do a few hours back and forth, just because it's easier for us and that's how we like to do things. I will be filming off and on throughout all of this. My plan right now is to do short videos without a whole lot of editing, just kind of whatever's going on. I will upload them with um, a thumbnail that says what day this is from, so hopefully you guys will be able to just watch some maybe short, like, you know, three to five minute videos multiple times during the day, as opposed to me trying to edit one large video at the end of the day. This sometimes didn't go up until, you know, one o'clock the next morning. I'll give it a try. We'll see how that goes. Another thing, if you're actually going to be at Briarfest, if you're not watching this channel just for the vicarious fun of it, if you are going to be there, in person, I would love to meet the folks who are watching. So if you see me around, uh, please feel free to come up and let me know who you are and let me know that you watch the channel. If you come up and you tell me that you watch and that's how you recognize me, <laughs> um, let me know that. Like, tell me that. I will be carrying around. Hopefully, Mom and Aunt Linda also will have some, but... We'll see who winds up carrying more of them. I have some really awesome tiny resin medallions that I cast from molds that I bought. Um, this person is on Etsy and they make molds of antique buttons. And these are the coolest thing. They're, they're like the size of a quarter, size of a half dollar. And they're really detailed and most of them have uh, horse scenes on them. I think the only one I have that isn't a horse scene is an owl. I love owls, uh, but I'll be carrying these around if you let me know that you watch the channel. And if I don't just Im immediately start reaching for these things, remind me that I said you could have one. <laughs> uh, sometimes the heat gets to my brain, but you can have one and it's just kind of a fun, you know, thanks for watching. I would like to meet people. The other thing, if you are going to be there in person every year for the pineapple room, um, mom and Aunt Linda and I make signs to hang up around the Clarion. That's a, a time honored tradition at the Clarion is to change their wallpaper from classic hotel to 
uh, you know, serial killer with model horses wall. So we have a bunch of these signs and I know this is backwards. Um, that's just kind of how my phone is sometimes, but there are 50 different signs. None of them make any sense, uh, as related to say what we're selling. For instance, the one that I was holding up that you could kind of see says, we don't talk about Bruno and you're welcome for getting that stuck in your head again. <laughs> So there are 50 different ones. We are going to put all of these up at the Holiday Inn. We might, might put a couple up at the horse park. They have some bulletin boards there they let us use, but the biggest percentage of them will be at the Holiday Inn. So go around and see the craziness that is our signs. We had way too much fun coming up with these this year. Like I said, there are 50 of them and they're all different. None of them are the same. Go ahead, go around, find them. Let us know which one your favorite is when you come by the room. Uh, we love hearing from people who like the signs or, you know, if you don't have any idea what we were going for with one of them, let us know. Um, that's important too. And we can tell you what the reference is and kind of put that on our list of, you know, hey, this one wasn't as funny as we thought it was. So. That's it. That is the video today. I went a little longer than I wanted to, but the signs make me happy. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see all of you who are going to Briarfest uh, in this next week. Let me know in the comments if you're going to be there and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Yeah. Are you talking? Are you talking? Kelly, see, those are my signs. I, I have to have those to go on our trip. You don't even care, do you? Okay. Well, good kitty.